Welcome back to the Twisted League Road to Peak Efficiency and Not Having Fun and Hating Ourselves and Self-Deprecation. Uh, last video, we got 99 woodcutting and made a bunch of arrow shafts and headless arrows and did hard clues. You can see in the chat right now um, all the easy clues from Alking and all these hard clues from actually making the headless arrows. And right now, if we take a look in the bank, we have 260,000 headless arrows. Um, and I did the calculation last video. We need less than 200,000 headless arrows into broad arrows to get 50 million fletching XP. Um, so we have more than enough. I mean, I guess if I want to go for 100 mil, um, we'll need to get more, but we'll take it one step at a time. Uh, today, I want to get 25 million fletching XP. Well, not get 25 million, but I want to reach 25 million fletching XP. So pretty much I want to get at least 14 million fletching XP today. First thing we have to do is actually buy all the broad arrowheads and we need 200,000 which is gonna cost us, uh, should be just a little bit over 11 mil GP. This is the first time having a green cash stack on the account and we're gonna be saying goodbye to it already. And the reason why we have this green cash stack is because last video I alked all the rune items that I had in the bank from doing all the hard clues. Um, so we pretty much have like one of each rune item now. So yeah, we don't have like any more alkables, but that's okay. We've got enough money for all the things that we need money for. It's gonna take a freaking long time to actually buy all these arrowheads, so We'll get started now, and then maybe in between while we wait for the restock, I'll just start making the actual broad arrows. Yeah, we're going to be starting off today with 11 million fletching XP. Alright, so we'll head over to Konar, and once we trade her, here are the broad arrowhead packs. They are 5.5k GP each, and there's 100 broad arrowheads in each of these. And actually, uh, this restocks a lot faster than I thought it would. And I didn't realize there was a stock of, what was it, 800? I thought it'd be like 100 or 50 or something, um, like the feather packs. But yeah, it's actually pretty good. I guess we don't have to just stand around and uh, wait for it to restock. We just keep on buying them over and over and over. Wait, when you accidentally talk to Konar, she calls you bringer of death. That's a weird way to spell daddy. All right, once we buy these, that should put us at... 200,000 broad arrowheads. That looks freaking sweet. I accidentally bought one inventory of the uh, unfinished broad bolts, which is a good thing because we actually were starting to run low on them. Wait, I figured out how to make these really fast. Boom. <laughs> All right, so I talked about this a lot in the last video, but we have 22 more hard clues to do until we reach the 250 hard clue milestone, which is 250 points. The next milestone for hard clues, which is also the last milestone, is 500 hard clues. Uh, so we have to do 250 more hard clues, and that is also 250 points. So that would mean that we'd be getting one point per clue, which would come out to about 10 to 12 clues, or 10 to 12 points per hour. So that would not be worth it. Um, in terms of points, and I'd rather spend that time doing elites and masters anyways. So even though we do have all these hard clues, we are not going to end up using all of them. We're just going to do 22 more right now, and I'll just be fletching these as we run around uh, doing the hard clues as I've been doing for a while. I just want to make one set really quick right here. Look at that, 3,000 XP each. That's crazy, dude. Just for like doing nothing and you get 3,000 XP. It's so, so easy. All right. Um, I guess I'll see you back once we get the 22 hearts done. Actually, it'll probably be tomorrow because I'm going out drinking alcohol <laughs> tonight. So if I sound pretty crazy in the next clip, you know why. That means it's uh, going to be really, really late or really early. And we already have 98 fletching. Um, I guess now's a good time to say I was just editing the video uh, so far and I realized I forgot to say how long it took to buy these. It was probably like 20 to 25 minutes to buy the 200,000 broad arrowheads. But yeah, dude, this is like insanely fast. Like, 99 will happen just like without even trying it's gonna be so fast by the way according to the wiki here let me put this right up over here uh you can make at max efficiency up to 42.8k broad arrows per hour i mean of course that assumes that you're like standing around or just like starting the next tick cycle of broad arrows like the moment that the first cycle of uh, 10 sets of broad arrows ends. But um, I guess it's good to know that if I really want to just stand around and do nothing, we could get 50 million XP in like five hours or 40 million XP, but it'd be us reaching 50 million. Fuck, I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> you know what I mean though. Wait, I just noticed something right here. I like how it specifically has to say that if you're starting from arrow shafts and feathers, then it's 21.4K arrows per hour. Like <laughs> they actually have to do the math for you because it's a very complicated equation. Wait, hold on. Let's pull up the uh, calculator again. So it was a uh, 42.8K per hour. And then if we get 200 XP for each one, that means at peak efficiency, our maximum fletching XP per hour is going to be 8.5 mil fletching XP per hour. 
Wow. Oh, I love getting those back-to-back -back steps too. You can't actually get back-to-back -back steps for hard clues, um, but if you finish a clue and then open a new clue, that's the only way you could get a back-to-back -back step. I freaking love this game. But you know, realistically, when we're running around and we're fighting the wizards, we won't be able to get that max efficiency XP. I did before, I think I was getting like 15,000 arrows made per hour when doing this. And that's why I was paying attention, which I probably won't be paying too much attention right now, but um, I mean, that's still like almost a third of peak efficiency. This is just so ridiculously fast, dude. It's literally so fast. All right. Um, this is about to be 99 right here. <laughs> we're just gonna, we're just gonna do it. You can even see the level 98 message still in the chat box right there. Here we go. 99 fletching. That is 250 more leak points. Um, I don't know, it's pretty underwhelming considering we're still going to be doing like at least 40 million more XP or whatever to get to 50 mil, so, uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's keep on grinding out the clues. <laughs> it's so fast, man. Why would someone do that? Why would someone leave nature runes on the ground like that? <laughs> no. Alright, I don't think this was here at the start of the league, but the tutor here is essentially like a Hans. He will tell you how long you've, uh, been playing for, so let's go and check. 18 days and 21 hours out of 31 days. Nice. Dude, this is, this is a lot of nachos right now. Cheese. Nacho chips, of course. Guacamole. The guacamole. guacamole. Avocado. Pineapple. Sour cream. That is pineapple? Wait. That's pineapple. Dude, dude pineapple on pizza? Bro. That's Hawaii. Holy shit. Pineapple on pizza? That's cringe content. <laughs> Wait, well, pineapple is good on pizza. <laughs> All right, it's a new day. We're fresh. We're all started and ready to go. Oh yeah, we left off, or I left off right here. Let's uh, keep on doing the clues then. I know for you it's only been like a few seconds, but for me, it's been a whole long night. I got my tea here, I got my jammies on. I'm all comfy and cozy and ready to go and ready to make some big fletching gains. Oh yeah, we got two 99s yesterday. We got fletching and wood cutting. All right, dude, I'm, dude, I'm so hype, all right. Let's freaking go, boys. All right, so we just finished the last of the hard clues that we're ever gonna be doing on the Twisted League account. And then before we uh, go set up to do elite clues, um, I just wanna show like the XP I was getting. So, I mean, it hasn't even been one full hour yet today, but you can see like overall probably average out to about three mil fletching XP per hour while doing this, which would probably go down a little bit over time just over the course of doing this. But you know, three mil fletching XP per hour passively, I think it's pretty good. I don't know, it's been fun to like learn all these different methods uh, in this game mode that are just unique specifically to Twisted League, especially with clues because the only clue steps you can get are in Zaya. And you know, after doing 250 hard clues, I feel like I've really mastered them. <laughs> Please love me. All right, but we're gonna go set up for elite clues now because we do have quite a few elite clue scrolls. Yeah, we have 61 of them. So we'll just finish off 25 mil fletching XP while doing elites, and then we'll open up all the caskets we get from it. Here's a very niche thing that I want to show about this step in the uh, Shazy intent over here. Um, so with the runelight markers, people think that you have to actually be on that exact spot, but that's not the case. So like, for example, it says here, shrug in the Shazy command tent. So. Um, because it spawns you over here, it is a little bit faster, I believe, if you just go to the south side. And then right from here, you could just do the thing, and then you don't have to actually be in that exact spot. Um, and the same thing worked for a lot of the hard clues, which is kind of irrelevant now. So before, when you used to have to lure the wizards away, and people didn't lure them away, um, you had to be a certain amount of tiles away from the wizard in order to spawn the second one, which is why people would lure them away in the first place. And people just stand on that one tile and just keep digging over and over waiting for the, you know, person's wizard to die, when all you could have done is just gone one tile away and dig and spawn the wizard, because you didn't have to actually be on that one specific spot. I know it's probably not a big deal, because not too many people do elite clues, but they haven't made it so that you can spawn multiple of the Armadillo or the Bandos guards, you still have to wait for them to uh, die or be really far away, but because not too many people do it, uh, probably doesn't really matter too much. All right, coming in with a defense level, 97 defense, while doing these elite clues from uh, just killing like all the heck hounds and all the uh, armadillo slash bandos guards. All right, ready for this? 
25 million fletching XP. There it is, and that's 250 league points. So I'm just gonna finish up this step, and then we'll go start opening all these uh, elites. Well, first the hards, and then the elite clues. And uh, this was about two and a half hours of doing elites, by the way. All right, so I made sure to reset the loot tracker for the hard clues and for the elite clues, so that way they won't be uh, like combined with ones that we've done previously. But yeah, let's start opening them, and I guess hope for like alkables or like third age. I've never got third age in my life before, so that'd be pretty cool to get it, even if it is on twisted league. All right, and here is the last hard clue, and let's move on to opening... Oh! Oh yeah, duh, okay. <laughs> I forgot that that was the reason why we stopped there. Yeah, 250 hard clues is a 250 league task. Point league task, yes. All right, time for the elites now. Time for the good stuff. Wait. <laughs> Gil <laughs> I think it's the same as green dragon hide. <laughs> Yo, it's freaking tight. That's really cool. Okay, all right, let's, let's keep it going. Oh, we got a Mimic. I totally forgot that you could get Mimics from these. A uh, Mimic is 1 out of 35 from Elites, and then it's 1 out of 15 from Masters. Dude, wait, this is only our second ever Mimic, and we've done 68 Elite Clues, so... Okay, that math actually checks out, never mind. <laughs> but it is our first Mimic from Elites. We got one from Masters, um, but yeah. Alright, let's uh, do it. Actually, very quickly though, where are these worth? I didn't read the chat before. 26 mil, bro. <laughs> Dude, if that's on the UIM though, you can store that because it's one of the newer uh, gilded pieces. So you can store that individually in the treasure box. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's cool. It's a cool item. And yeah, I did just check to confirm that is the same stats as green dehyde chaps. Yeah, that was on number 60. Yeah, look at that chat message right there. Holy crap. I've learned from my last time playing the Mimic that you don't really even have to do anything. You just stand in place and pray melee and just, yeah, I guess just dodge the candies, which I'm doing a very bad job doing and just hit it with range in this case, I guess. All right, so that is two Mimic KC now, and they're actually our league task uh, milestones for killing certain amounts of Mimics. And the next uh, league task would be at five Mimics, so it'd be really cool to get that once we start doing Masters. When you open an Elite Casket, you get five rolls, but when you kill the Mimic, you get one extra roll. However, you can see right here when you first go into the Mimic, it says you have five chances to defeat the Mimic. Um, that's because for each time you die to the Mimic or leave or whatever, you lose one of the rolls. And then, you know, if you die six times, then you don't have any rolls and you don't have a casket anymore. I assume it's how it works. But yeah, let's open the casket and then we'll see what extra drop we get as well because it'll be in the chat box. <laughs> Dude, Rangers Tunic and 69 Elite Clues. And we got uh, 25 Wind of Zamrak as the extra loot, which is really good too. Is that the last piece that we need for the ranger set? Wait, let's, okay, I, I think it's the last piece, dude. Wait, let's go check the bank. Okay, <laughs> the value of it too, no way. Just kidding, grow up, kids. Wait, okay, so we have the ranger tunic, and we have the tights, and then we're wearing the boots, gloves, Robin Hood. Dude, wait, that's the full ranger outfit thing. Wait, let's, let's just, like, have only that on. Oh, we finished it. Oh, let's get the uh, thieving bag as well to complete the outfit. All right, here we go. Oh, wait, I need a bow too. All right, dude. <laughs> Yo, that's so freaking cool. I'm so happy that we got like all these items and stuff. I'm, that's so freaking cool. That's awesome. All right, well, let's go and finish opening these 11 last elite caskets that we have here. And I guess, yeah, I don't know, I'm not really hoping for anything specific at this point. We're just working towards the 100 elite clue for the elite task. 100 elite clues, yes. All right, and then we got five more here. If anything, the alkables are good, so we could always buy more broad arrowheads or train. Wait, did we just get that? And then we could just, uh, yeah, use the money for training. Maybe even do construction in the future, maybe go for 25 mil. I don't think that would take too long. What's that? Oh, the bow tie. People use this to scam in the main game, by the way. If you see someone like trying to sell a bow tie or uh, like any tuxedo pieces, it's a scam because they don't actually sell in the GE. 
Um, there's like just a couple traded per day, and so you could easily manipulate the prices of those. So don't buy bow ties in the main game, but we have the top hat and the bow tie, which is actually <laughs> kind of cool. And we got the uh, Adamant Dragon Mask as well. But that is going to do it for this video today. We are ending off with just over 16k league points. We got a lot of clues done. We got uh, our 25 million fletching XP. We got a lot of freaking sick items today, which I'm really happy about. But yeah, with that said, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope that you have a wonderful day, and I will see you again tomorrow.